Hey guys, welcome to the first episode of Women in the Trailer Industry. I'm Lacey. And I'm Caitlin. And we're here to introduce a little bit about what we're going to be talking about and about ourselves today. All right, today we're going to be talking about uh, who are we? How did we get here? And what do we do? And what did we do before this? What led us here? and where we're at and how we're feeling now. Okay, so what? let's get started. <laughs> what was Caitlin doing before the trailer parts outlet? <laughs> okay, my journey started in the beginning at Bucky's right out of high school. If you haven't worked there, I would say everyone should. Because... You're gonna give us the year? <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, no, I'm not. Um, but everyone should work there. It teaches you a lot of hard work. They expect you to work or you'll get fired. Um, after that, I was a probation officer. After that, I owned my own business named Sweet Treat. Uh, it was a frozen, yo frozen yogurt shop in Madisonville. And it went well. And then I saw a listing for a customer service position with TK Trailer Parts and the Trailer Parts Outlet um, and went and met Tyler. Um, he hired me, I started, I actually quit three days later um, because I wasn't gonna put up <laughs> with all the shit. This is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I knew that he was growing something great. So um, I came back and- I, I wanna know what you, like what was your position that you were hired on for? I was hired on for customer service and sales. Um, it was a lot of mainly Tyler's assistant of mouse clicking at the beginning. But like how many people actually were hired, like on staff whenever you got hired? At the beginning we had three. Nice. Yes. So um, that's where it started and then it just kind of progressed from there. In 2017 we moved to our new location. In Madisonville, we started manufacturing trailers and um, growing our trailer parts business. And we, since then, we've hit the ink 5,000 four times, yeah, I believe. Yeah, four times. And here we are. So tell me a little bit about where you started, where but you came first. from. But wait, first. So <laughs> you started out just basically helping him organize this business and while it was growing crazy like trying to figure out simple stuff like how are we going to get these parts where are we going to list this at um at that point where we did we have a website mm, i think we had a few buttons that said buy now but that's about it and then we listed on ebay and tyler did those listings on ebay himself didn't he yes <clears throat> Yeah, that, I mean, it's just crazy where we are now in just yeah. such a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. So you rose to the top. You're VP of the company, <laughs> and you do it well. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, tell me a little bit about yourself, Lacey. Well, my journey started at Texas A&M. And um, <laughs> you I, got, I got, got my bachelor's degree in agricultural uh, communications. And then I got my master's degree because um, I didn't want to get a job yet. So I just went right into my master's degree. Um, and I got a master's in agricultural leadership and education and communications. Uh, my emphasis was on social media in the business place. So when you were in school, what did you think you were going to be doing with that degree? So honestly, I thought I was going to be handling and managing people's Facebook accounts. When I got into the industry, I realized I really hated doing that. <laughs> it was awful to me. I mean, people do it really well if they're like on top of it, but it's so like trending and quick moving and so is business too, but you just have to be in the know on all the new trends and that's just not me. Um, also just a lot of advertising and knowing which space to put your marketing in and 
I just realized that I was better at doing the more technical side of listing stuff, but it's kind of funny because my very first job out of college, I worked at a daycare um, while I was in college for like seven years. I loved it, but you know, you get tired of that. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go teachers all over the U.S. It's so hard. You don't get recognition enough, but um, so I... My first job was from a Craigslist listing, and it was for a camping company called Camping Max. They're based out of College Station. They sell um, online retail and camping equipment, um, mostly high-end stuff. <clears throat> so started with, um, it was a small business, mom and pop business. I started listing the products online. So I basically taught myself how to list on every marketplace um, that's out there, all the major ones, Walmart, um, any kind of um, back end, like a Shopify, um, Amazon, eBay, all those places. Um, I had to learn the hard way. I just through trial and error, I, as you know, I mean, everything we do around here, we just have to mm -hmm. figure it out. You know, it's not like you get this main course on this is what you do. Cause I wasn't going into a corporate world. I was going into a small business. So uh, how many listings do you think you had posted at camping max? Um, it was a multiple thousand. Um, but it was a long process. One of the biggest, I guess, gifts that I got out of it was to learn how to, um, navigate new contracts with new marketplaces. So like an Amazon, you can just jump on create an account, right? And if you have an EIN, you can start listing. On other places that have buyers like um, Overstock, you have to reach out to these people and make um, relationship with them and offer your product at a price. And so a lot of price analysis, a lot of like um, venturing out and seeing what's good for the products that you sell. That's kind of what I had to learn. Um, so that gave me a lot of experience and worked with them for a couple of years and saw um, actually both of the jobs that I've had came from Craigslist that were in um, e-commerce and they were both given to me for my husband. He's like always on Craigslist, Scouting. like, yeah, always <laughs> shopping for, you know, use parts, use trailers, whatever. So he actually sent me both links. And so I came and met Tyler for social media mostly. Mm -hmm. I knew I didn't like it, but I knew <laughs> I needed a change from where I was. So um, came here and got hired to do social media and e-commerce, but really my journey has really grown with the e-commerce side as far as not just the listing aspect, but operations, price analysis, and um, just really dipping into every single thing that goes into that. And that's sure. where I am today. Some topics I want to go over are just the stresses in the workplace, um, some things we've experienced lately, trying to grow, trying to hit our our goals and staying up late with this fourth quarter has been crazy, <laughs> crazy. Yeah. Yep. And then wondering how you're going to function the next day. Um, how you keep just working and working and there's not enough hours in the day. <laughs> and then you just put your, your face in the ground yeah. and your kid does it with you and you're like, all right. Yeah. Your kids are like, you know, banging off on the walls in the background yeah. and you're just trying to work through it. I just love it that like every single time that my kids can be totally quiet in the house and every time I need to get on a call, it's like the whole house erupts and I'm yes. like running from room to room away from them <laughs> and they're all following me, like <laughs> crying, hitting each other, like, but won't leave me alone. Or you just go outside and let them yeah. themselves inside. So. <laughs> as long as they're inside, they, you know they're yeah. good. Yeah. No, they but it's... pull the Christmas tree down or anything. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, baby gates yeah yep. for sure and then but we're fortunate enough to have some flexibility here um, absolutely at the trailer parts outlet and um if we need to get some things taken care of we can yeah and then come back to the grind so and another good thing that about us is you know they're there for us is there's no set work schedule, right? So like it could be 5 a.m. or it could be midnight or it could be eight to five. Yes. It's just kind of like if a job needs to get done, everybody here I feel like figures out a way to get it done. I definitely do. And I, I appreciate the teamwork here and I'm sure Tyler does as well. And it's refreshing to have a group of individuals like we do that are passionate enough to put in those hours and do those things and sacrifice what some would say family time to yeah. um <laughs> Kiefer is crazy so I'm sorry 
<laughs> Our content director distracted us, but yeah. The executive okay. producer needs to some help. <laughs> um, but anyway, it's what some would say would be family time. And, you know, that takes us to our other topics of the balance of family and work and not being able to take a vacation without thinking yeah. about work and how do you all turn that it off? So, yeah. Um, um, I want to talk to you about a little bit about like some things that we have found that works for us as far as leadership goes. Um, what, what are we kind of quantify as being like success factors um, as far as leadership? I mean, you can take so many seminars on leadership, yep. right? But I, I feel like, in every industry, the things that are going to motivate and the things that are going to push and constructively change something that's going wrong, maybe change. Like it's all different. Yes. And uh, I mean, and it actually goes into when we did our, we recently did a, like a personality quiz to see kind of like how, how you respond to different things and how others respond to you in those situations. Mm -hmm. And it was really interesting to figure out. Yeah. I just wouldn't have thought about that, you know, in those ways. I really kind of loathe those kinds of questionnaires because I'm like, how does a questionnaire really know me? But it, it does bring to light a lot of different things. But I feel like we could hit on the t that too, you know, talk about that kind of stuff. <laughs> and we also want to talk about some tips and tricks mm -hmm. that we've learned along the way, things to help advance other Women in the industry, other yeah. people in the industry, and not only women. Um, Maybe some good really, resources. Yeah, it's really build your skill set and um, try to bring you along the journey with us. What do you want to dive into in the next episode? In the next episode, since it's such a relevant topic right now, I want to talk about stress in the workplace, yeah. um, how we do the life family balance and how we don't do it well. And then go from there. Yeah, let's do it. So, Lacey, where can they find us at? Uh, anywhere you stream your, your uh, podcast, Spotify, Apple coming soon, um, YouTube. I don't know if YouTube and podcast go together, but I just said it. Um, and I'm sure the video will be on there. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, Keith will get the video up for us. Uh, yeah, so you ready to do this? Yeah. Well, we'll see you on the next episode. Stay classy, ladies. <laughs> stay classy and stay sassy. <laughs> yeah. Classy and sassy. <laughs>